Do you want to know what will it cost to construct a house and what will be its labor and material cost also? So if you want to know these things in detail then kindly subscribe my channel Civil Engineering Forum and watch the full video. So here we So here we'll take an example of a house with 1000 square feet built up area which means total usable area including balcony and terrace. So we will estimate the construction cost of this house and we'll even see what will be the per square feet cost of the construction which will include labor and material both. Where at first we'll see what are the types of houses. In general there are three category of houses class C, class B and class A house where the overall construction cost of class C house per square feet which will include labor and material both that will be about 750 to 850 rupees per square feet. So the total construction cost of our 1000 square feet house will be 7.5 to 8.5 lakh. These type of houses are load bearing structures which do not have that structural frame containing beam and column. While if we talk about the class B house then our total construction cost per square feet will be about 1000 to 1100 rupees per square feet. So the total construction of our 1000 square feet built up area house will become 10 to 11 lakh. Then after if we talk about the class A house then the total construction cost over here is 1300 to 1800 rupees per square feet. So that our total construction cost of this 1000 square feet house will be about uh, 13 to 18 lakh. And generally these types of structures are uh, having earthquake resistant frame with beams and column. So this was all about the total construction cost but if we talk about labor and material cost in detail. Then uh, here we'll consider for example the total construction of our house to be 12 lakh rupees. So in this construction at first we'll calculate the labor cost. So what will be the labor cost out of this 12 lakh rupees. So basically there are numerous things which we need to consider uh, for the calculation of this labor cost. Where here I will show you the average pricing of each and every work. So at first here we'll talk about centering and shuttering work with 28 rupees per square feet of labor work. Then after if we talk about the steel fitting work then uh, it is having 18 rupees per square feet. Then uh, regarding the labor work for uh, casting of the slab it is taken as rupees 8 per square feet. So after this there will be the combined labor work for uh, masonry and plaster which is uh, 70 rupees per square feet. Then after cost of tiles fitting on an average we have taken 17 rupees per square feet. Then the cost of all electric works is uh, same as that of the casting of the slab that is 8 rupees per square feet. Then after talking about the plumbing work we have uh, 12 rupees per square feet labor work. Then after talking about the plumbing work we have 12 rupees per square feet. So basically these were the main things included in the labor work but at last we'll see some extra expenses which include the excavation and extra labor works and uh, for that we need to keep about rupees 15 per square feet. So the total becomes 176 rupees per square feet. That will be the total labor cost. But we even need to give the profit to the contractor. So for contractor we have kept uh, rupees about 50 as a profit and the total uh, labor cost will become 226 rupees per square feet for this house. So now as we know that our house is of 1000 square feet. So total labor work here will be 226 into 1000 that will be 226,000. So out of 12 lakh rupees 226,000 will be occupied for labor work and the rest of the money will go to material work. That is cost of material. So here our figure 12 lakh minus 2 lakh 26,000 will be 9 lakh 74,000 which is the cost of material. So here we'll see the subdivisions of which material occupies how much cost. So quickly moving towards each and every material here the first one is steel which occupies about 24.6% uh, of the overall material cost. That means 24.6% of 9.74 lakh the figure goes to 2.4 lakhs. Which means that out of this 9,74,000, 2,26,000 will have to purchase the steel. Then after the second number we have cement with 16.3% of the overall cost of material that is 9,74,000. So here the figure is 1.6 lakh for the cement. Similarly if we talk about fine aggregate then our figure is 12.3% that is 1.2 lakh. Then after we have coarse aggregate. So the coarse aggregate has 7.4% of the total costing of the material and our figure is 72,000 rupees. So these were all the main ingredients or we would say main materials for uh, building our structure. But then after if we talk about the fittings then uh, the overall cost of the fittings here would be 22.8% which again have the subdivisions. 
but basically the total cost of the fitting will be 22.8 percent that will be 2.22 lakh out of these fittings plumbing occupies 5.5 percent electric work occupies 6.5 percent then the fitting for the doors and windows will occupy about 6.5 percent and lastly sanitary fitting will occupy 4.5 percent and at last on the sixth number we have finishing work which will include paint tiles fitting plaster etc so for this finishing work we have 16.6 percent of the overall cost of the material and that would be 1.6 lakh rupees and hence our total becomes 9.74 lakh so in this way we found labor cost and material cost for our 12 lakh rupees house so friends this is all for today and thank you for watching